Hey folks, Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, today we have a very serious subject that we're going to talk about, and that's going to be revolving around this right here. See that right there? That's like, that's like a dollar or a buck fifty or some crazy amount of money right there right now. Right. If you can find it. You got to be lucky to be able to find it in stores. I know for me, I don't want to go shoot it if I can't replace it. That's I've got some stuff stashed away, but you know what? That's for other but, reasons. Exactly. Exactly. So if you're in the same boat as we are, where you, you've got some ammo, but you don't necessarily want to shoot it, but you want to go out with your firearm, here's a list of things that you can do with yours without spending a dime in ammo. Well, the most obvious thing to do would be to get your firearms and give them a good deep cleaning. Now, it may have been a while, may not, but it's not gonna cost you any ammo to make your firearm clean and pristine and ready for when ammo's available. All right, this is my AR-15, there are many like it. But this one is mine and it's all clean and I feel good about that and I didn't spend any money on ammo. What else can we do, Bob? Well, I know I have to check the safe on one of my 9mm rifles. I need to check to see how the rust is looking on it. So let's take a look at that. All right. All right, folks. So I was looking through the safe and I've got this TNW Arms 9mm uh, rifle. And notice I'm starting to get some uh, surface rust on this phosphate here. So we're going to take care of that today. Uh, using some of this uh, EZX gun care. This is going to be a synthetic uh, thing that we can help remove some of this this surface rust on here and help clean this up. So we're going to skip to a time lapse. I'm going to clean that up. So using this EZX worked phenomenal all that rust just wiped off there. If you're gonna use a, like a Brillo pad like this, you go very quickly and very lightly. This can take off some of that finish. So it's very careful not to do that. So now we're left with a, a barrel that uh, has no more surface rust on it and it's good to oil up and put back in the safe. And no ammo was used. All right, well that cleaning stuff, I admit it. It's icky, I don't like it any better than you do. So let's talk about something fun. Uh, you can get out the rattle can and you can rattle can your rifle. Uh, this one uh, features a unique AR's handguard and we'll be talking about that more in the future. But those are orange and black, it's my favorite color combination. It's also Bob and I's uh, high school colors. So uh, we like this, it also matches my Kubota tractor. So you can uh, get out a rattle can and don't be scared, you can do it and go ahead and, and do something pretty like that. And worst case scenario is it turns out something like this. Uh, I call this color combination that did not turn out nearly as pretty or beautiful or neato as I wanted it. I call this uh, dog vomit because that's the kind of the color combination that I see there. Can you see the different shades of hues of uh, distressed dog uh, droppings? But uh, it actually kind of grew on me and I didn't like it. But uh, if you did this and you don't like it, then you can always unbubba that rifle. So check out our unbubba that rifle uh, video on how to get this dog vomit off of your rifle. Now let's see what else we can do when we don't have any ammo. You know, another great idea that won't cost you a dime is go find an old A2 muzzle brake and go pick some wildflowers for your wife or your girlfriend or your fiance. Look at this wonderful bouquet. Perfect for any occasion. Hey, and if you want me to do flowers for your wedding, just send a message below. We'll see what we can do. I can send you out a hundred of these things real cheap. Let's see what else we can come up with. Well, after you get done rattle canning your rifle, you might want to go garage sailing and pick you up uh, some elk antlers. You probably don't want to do this with the antlers that you harvested yourself. But after you rattle can that, that, uh, that rifle, or that firearm, then you can make yourself some grips out of some uh, elk antlers. I've got an angled foregrip on this AR pistol, and uh, and I fashioned some grips out of uh, out of some elk antlers. 
and you can get out the leather working kit and make yourself a strap to replace the Velcro uh, brace strap. Do you remember who made that grip, who uh, provided that uh, so you can put that panel that on? Is a, that's a Pierce grip on there, Bob. And uh, it takes 1911 grips. I like the angle better. And uh, it allowed me to build my own custom grips out of some elk antlers. Boy, that's, I really like that angled foregrip on there. That really adds a really nice aesthetic to that. It does change it a little bit. I can't uh, tilt it down, can't shotgun the AR to take it apart anymore. You have to take both pins out to separate it. Right. But there's something to do, and they didn't. I didn't spend a single bit of ammo uh, doing that. And ironically, I built this. This is uh, chambered in 458 Silcom with the uh, 458 uh, the uh, Bowers can, and this is my deep brush elk uh, firearm, so I can get more antlers. Nice. Yeah. Hey Mark, it's a wet day. What's your tip for us? Well, on a rainy spring day like today here in Washington, what I like to do is I'll zip tie, uh, I'll zip tie an umbrella to my M1 carbine, and then I can go for a stroll in the rain without getting wet. All right, let's see how that works. Oh crap! I don't have an umbrella. It's perfect. It's the best thing ever. Look, I haven't shot any ammo and I'm staying dry. It's the best. And you're actually getting to use your vintage World War II M1 carbine in the rain. I'm having gun time in the rain and I'm staying dry. It's the best. Man. I haven't spent a cent in ammo. That's a great tip, Mark. Freaking brilliant. Let's see what else we can come up with. Okay. One other thing you can do is you can improve your firearm to make it more reliable, just better in quality overall. Ruger American rifle stocks, um, they're functional, but they're crap. <laughs> Indian Creek Design makes a mofo chassis that we put on this 6.5 Creedmoor that is going onto our budget build. That kind of takes it out of our budget a little bit. We were going to do a thousand yards for under a thousand dollars. This is an affordable chassis, but you know what? I didn't shoot a single round of 6.5 Creedmoor, which can cost you lots of money to shoot these days. But you know what? When the ammo prices do come available or the ammo becomes available again, uh, this is going to be a really nice setup. So Indian Creek Design MoFo chassis. It's got the Tommy Gun front forend on it. Uh, it changed the look of this rifle dramatically. It feels amazing compared to that cheap Ruger American Predator stock. So no penny spent on ammo and got a cool rifle. You know, you can get out your rifle and hold it in your hand, and in your other hand, you can get out your phone and Google uh, trending baby names and come up with a name for your rifle. I decided that this one's so ugly that it's gotta be a boy. Oliver, nope. Liam, nope. Ethan, nope. Caleb, nope. Declan, nope. Elijah, nope. Levi, nope. Sebastian, Mm, no. Mark, may I, may I interject? Yes. You know, based on one of our favorite singers, how about Bo Cephas? Well, it's not on the list, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Cephas is not a trending baby no, name. Okay, let's find a trending name. But I like it, and I found one that I like. Uh, Theodore. Oh, Teddy. Teddy, like Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt right. That's right. My grandpa was a giant Teddy Roosevelt fan, my great grandpa. So uh, this is now Theodore. Uh, I never thought of naming it before, but now it's Theodore and I'm happy. So then I didn't spend any money on ammo and its name is Theodore. How cool is that? Where's Alvin? Alvin! <laughs> well, Here's another thing you can do and not spend a single round of ammo. You find that uh, that AR lower that you got waiting for a build and you can affix a wire brush to it and then you can clean things while you're displaying proper trigger discipline. This will keep all of the people on the internet off of your ass so you have to keep your finger pointy like that and prominently display your pointy finger while you're wire brushing your metal or cleaning your grill. You can do that and it doesn't cost you a single round of ammo to practice proper trigger discipline. Let's see what else we got.
So pretty much like all of you, you've got targets laying around doing nothing. We've got dirty bar targets up the butt. And we've got some darts. So if we let's see if we can get uh, a three-shot group that's worth a dart. Boom. Well, some days you don't have very good luck shooting. And uh, today I was able to uh, get a... Uh, 4.4 inch uh, group at uh, six feet. So, anyway, that's the internet, Bob. That's the that internet. Was, that was sub MOA <laughs> at 500 yards <laughs> for, for military arm. That is correct. <laughs> so let's see, see what else we can do. Here's a barnyard tactical tip that goes out to our friend Salty Shellback. And I'm wearing the shirt he likes the best because it brings out the blue in my eyes. You can take this here lower, and you can affix it to your coffee cup so that you can uh, you can practice your proper trigger discipline while drinking your morning coffee. Mmm, chubby bun. <laughs> yeah, ammo's expensive. We wanna spend time with our firearms and we don't wanna spend any ammo. So I propose that you can turn your firearm into a nice handy little lamp. Maybe you can have it beside your desk or on your desk. Use it for a reading light. And uh, and I think this works really well. And the beauty of it is it's, uh, it's quick deploy. And I can take the lamp apart and we're ready to go. Look at that. Just need if a you had ammo. <laughs> well, that's, we still have two rounds that we saved for backup. So we didn't spend any ammo. We turned this cool firearm into a lamp and... Uh, that sums up our list of things that you can do when ammo is short with your firearms. Once again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Whenever you're handling firearms, always follow the four basic safety rules. Shoot safe, shoot straight, and we'll see you on the firing line. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, everybody, please like and subscribe. Now, Bob, it ain't stupid if it works. Well, you got a fact there.